Hey, today is January 8th. I'm going to look at trading the ADP non-farm employment change. I'm currently on the ZB on the March 14, or excuse me, the uh, March 2014 contract here. And it doesn't seem to be moving much. You guys can see here. So I'm actually going to check and see if uh, this is the right contract that I need to be on. So I'm just going to go to Google, search for ZB Futures. We can check that easily enough. Check out quotes. And we'll see volume. Okay, so it looks like we're in the right area. Volume is uh, easily the highest, you guys can see here. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, set things up right now so you guys can see how I do it. Again, it's just uh, typical stuff, nothing special. Just come in go to the uh, Joe Bracket breakout change this to true I'm going to be using a stop loss of 5 bracket distance of 3 profit target of 10 1 for my position size change this to strategy internal and change this to 814 58 okay that should be everything here let me see actually I thought this was bracket this says break even trigger so brackets already set to a uh, three so that's fine as well but stop entry order we can change that to true change this to 16 and I'm pretty sure that is everything all right, so I'm going to go ahead and apply this. And I'll be back with you guys in a couple minutes and we'll uh see what happens. All right, we have 1 minute to go. I just uh spoke with another full-time trader and he said that he's not going to be actually trading until after non-farm payroll on Friday. He's been having some uh really bad feels he said so he's just gonna step out of the market and not risk his money till things get back to normal uh, from the holidays I believe so that's something to keep in mind here and this isn't something that I normally trade I usually don't trade the uh, ADP non-farm employment change but we're gonna test it out here because I believe it's done well in the last couple months so forward testing is the best way to uh, see what's going to happen. All right, we got about 10 seconds to go. Order pending. Here we go. Order pending. All right, we are filled in the market. There's a level right there, so I'm going to go ahead and. Order filled. Okay, so we made 125. I tried to move it up in time, but it looks like it came back and uh, hit me here. But no worries, it still uh, proved a point that this trade looks like it's uh, looks like it might be worth uh, attempting again in the future. So I'll keep that in mind. Time is now 8:15. I have to get ready and head out. So I'll see you guys on the next one. Thank you.